Okay, so this piece of plastic still has some of the last print that I did. I'd need to clean it and dry it in order to use it again with the markers because you don't want to put markers on top of the water. So it needs to be very dry. But I do have another piece of plastic that I can use instead. So first I'm going to start with my print that I came up with. I tra traced it again using a permanent Sharpie marker. So I use this permanent Sharpie marker. And now I'm going to turn it upside down on top of a white piece of paper so I can see it. And then I'm going to use my new piece of plastic, which it's hard to see it on the table. Okay, so this is a nice dry piece of plastic called acetate. And I'm going to just use some fall colors on here. And I want to kind of separate them by section. Use some orange. Some red. And then I think I'll use a little bit of brown for the stem. And then I want to give it a little bit of a background. So you could do green like the leaves laying on the ground, or you could do it with sky tone, or a little bit of both. And don't worry about your lines because it's all going to blur together. Let's use a little bit of green to see what it does. Okay, and then I'm going to take the paper out from underneath just so I don't get it wet. And I'm going to get ready to print it. Use my water bottle. Spray it just a little bit till it starts to bleed. Wait for it to do something interesting. Okay, then I'm going to place this on top. Just press it. And you don't want to use too much water because it'll just make mud. I'm going to pull it off. And there's my final print. You can make one, maybe two.